The scripture says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. We need to take this very, very serious because this is the reason why most of you who desire to be married are still single today. So we're talking about confession in today's video. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Prophet Ene and if today is your first time of joining me, I'm a life and relationship coach. I help you build an intentional relationship that leads to a godly and successful marriage. And in today's video, we'll be looking at words, confessions, how they influence your life or how they affect your relationship. So before we continue, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So what is confession? Confession is just like um, what we say. And it goes far to um, determine the course of our life. The Bible says that um, that we should guard our hearts with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. So it's very, very important that we guard what we think about, not just the thoughts of our hearts, but the words of our mouth because they go a long way to determine how far we will go in life, how productive we will be, and how much success we will experience. Most of you are actually praying to God to give you a successful relationship, to bring the man of your dream, to send the woman of your dream, but the, the the funny thing about it is, is that you are the one stopping those dreams or maybe stopping those um, prayers to come to pass because of the confessions of your mouth. What do I mean by this? In our society today, we have a lot of people just because of one um one heartbreak they experience, they term all opposite gender as comes. You hear ladies say that all guys are dogs, all guys are this, all guys are that, guys cheat, guys do this, and you keep confessing negative confessions. And how do you expect God to bring a faithful man to you when you have stamped everybody to be a cheat and everybody to be a scum? I don't understand. How does that work? See, God will not send his son or his daughter to you so that you come and use less their life. Because some of you have experienced maybe one failed relationship and you, in your heart, you already made up your mind to frustrate any man that comes your way. I will not take any nonsense from anybody. If you try me, I will give it to you hot hot. See, just because of that confession, those single confession you are making, God will not allow his sons and his daughters to approach you. So you need to be careful about the words you say. Okay, let's look at the scripture. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says something. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. But what is good from necessary edification, that is, that it may impart grace to the hearers. See, when we are talking about impacting grace to the hearers yourself when you speak you hear yourself so every negative confession you make every negative word you utter about things that associate life and everything it comes back to affect you because you're also a hearer of those words that means you should not be saying things that will come back to haunt you okay let's just take for instance the children of israel when they came to spy the land 12 spies were sent out to go and examine the land why 10 came back to say that when they got there, they saw this, they saw giants, they saw the sons of Anath, and they were like grasshoppers. Those words, they were like grasshoppers, has already defined who they are. They have used those words to shape their reality. And because of that, they were not able to take that land at that particular point in time. They had to wait many years, 40 extra years, before they could possess a land which they were already close to possessing. So you discover that sometimes when God is planning to bless you with a spouse that will love you, a spouse that will care for you, just one word you utter defeats the whole purpose. So even though you have experienced heartbreak, you have experienced difficulties in your relationship, that doesn't mean you should go about leaving negative comments. And also you watch what you think about because our thoughts, in, like the Bible said, it's we should guard it with all diligence because out of it flows life. It is not what goes into a man that defies a man. It's what proceeds out. These are the word of God. And I'm sharing the word of God with you so that you will see that words are very powerful. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So whatever you say about your relationship, whatever confession you make about your relationship, that's what it will become. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's, let's proceed to those that are currently in a relationship. You discover that most times when you complain a lot about your spouse, you always say negative things about them. You will never experience peace in that relationship. But why don't you change today to start making positive confession, positive affirmations? Even if things are not looking like it, why not just keep being positive about it? So instead of saying that everybody is cheating, all men are dogs, all women are scums, all like all those things we hear today, a lot, a lot of them, why not just 
say my man is separate my man is separated from all these persons i know that some men cheat and some women cheat but mine doesn't my will not this is the power of your confession life and death are in your tongue so the more you speak it the more it becomes things the bible said that we should call those things that be not as do they be so even if everybody in your area is acting in a particular way you should develop that habit to speak positively into your life into your relationship when you do these kind of things you discover that you tend to project or your words get to go before you to structure that man and then that man you are praying for will come to you so my advice to you today is to stop speaking negatively you might experience some negative things maybe things people throw out you but you should not allow it to get into you and you should not allow it to crystal out of you so you need to understand this and also keep confessing positively even when all things looks like they are not working out fine just keep speaking the positive word before you know it god will send that man and that woman that will love you with everything in them i believe this video has really blessed you yes positive confession is very very important so if you have been in this um, table of um, confessing negatively all the time if you make up your mind to start confessing positively just leave a comment below thank you very much for watching today's video leave a comment below like i said earlier like and share with somebody and don't forget to subscribe and visit my facebook page my relationship coaching with profits thank you for watching today's video see you in the next video